Hello friends, um, it's a weekend and I uh, hope, uh, hope you are doing well and uh, today I'm going to share a new video with you guys so it's related to the Google Slides so if uh, you are a PowerPoint user and a very heavy PowerPoint user you maybe know this adding okay so it's called MLC PowerPoint adding. So basically, this adding uh, extend uh, a lot of the functionality of the PowerPoint, and uh, it's add a lot of good features to PowerPoint. And uh, so for these features, which are not supported natively in PowerPoint, so as you can see here, we have some examples here to swap the shapes basically uh, if you select two uh, shapes on the PowerPoint it could uh, switch the position of the elements okay so similar stuff like this so it's, it's like a, build, a custom uh, functionalities for the PowerPoint so uh, since I'm I just uh, found this uh, adding recently so I think this is a very good idea and uh, I can replicate all of these functions uh, with app script and uh, add it for the Google Slides I'm not sure if there is any already uh, adding uh, like this for Google Slides but uh, absolutely we can do it with app script and uh, I think it's a very good practice for me and maybe for you guys to learn app script and uh, and here is it and uh, I only uh, made a few examples uh, actually actually four examples here uh, so I will add more so after this uh, video I will keep uh, keep doing that and uh, in the meantime if you have any other ideas which is not on this list maybe you can leave a comment uh, below my video and I will check if I can if I can do it in with app script and once I I did it I will add it to this slide and I will update the code for you okay so any ideas so so I need your help on that point okay so basically so if you're a PowerPoint user you can use this add-on I don't know if it's uh, it's free or not so if you think these functions are very good for you you can go and check this website okay so if you you need to search MLC PowerPoint you should be able to find it all right so let's go back to my slide here so uh, uh, here you can see I have a menu called MLC so I didn't rename I didn't change another name for it and I try to make four main categories here so for the first one is about all about the positions the second one is about the size of these shapes and the third one is about the text the last one is all about the colors okay so for each of this category I only made one uh, single functions so for the future I will add more I will add more to these functions okay so if you have a good idea I also can if I can do it I will add it uh, in uh, one of this category okay so let me show you uh, what I have done okay so for the first one uh, basically I use this as example to swap uh, the shapes basically so it swap the position here as you can see here I have this swipe shapes number two on the left and uh, have this on the right as number one so if I uh, select both of them 
you need to you need to press shift or control to select a multiple element okay so once you select both of them you go to this M MLC menu and go to position and try to run this web shapes function now as you can see I just changed the, the positions all right so just simple like that okay so this is the first function I got it from here okay all right let me show you the second one so for the second one it's going to make the same size uh, for the uh, for the element you select okay let's try to make this uh, make the first one and the second one same size so I select the first one and select the second one so let's try to do the make same size now as you can see here I have the same size so let's undo it and let's try to make the, the first one the second one the first one the same size but I select the second one first so the first one should be changed to the same size with the second one okay make same size now as you can see here we are in same size so just like that so the third one here okay is about the text so this function we're going to uh, we have basically actually we have two features in this function we can merge or we can split so first we do the split so you select one element go to this uh, text sub menu and uh, click this merge split text with shapes function okay here you need to enter separator so I will try to split them with a new line so I put a backward slash in here for new line so let's try to OK so now here I have four I have four text box here for each line right and we also can merge them together so you you only need to do you need to select all of them and you need to run this text merge okay by default uh, the merge uh, you going to merge a new merge to new line okay so I didn't put a uh, a merge uh, separator here for you guys so I think that's uh, that's enough for the merge functions here all right so the last one here uh, is about the colors so basically uh, it's going to make the select item the same color okay the colors I did in the script include the the font color, so the font, the text background color, okay, the front, uh, font color, front ground color, and the background color. And also we have the fill color and the border color. So basically four colors. So let's try to do the first one and the second one. So if I select first one and the second one and try to make the same color. Well, I should get the background at the red, I think. It, it's a little bit slow, I think it here is still running the script. What's wrong? So let's try to see. Let's view the log here. Why well, it's not complete? 
Okay, let's do it once more. So the first one, the second one, try to make them the same color. Okay, maybe I got a connection issue here. Right, let's dismiss it. Cancel, cancel. Let's try to do it again. Make same color. It's a network issue, I think. So I need to cancel this one. Terminate. So now we have the same color here. Okay, let's undo it. Cannot. So if you select the second one, first and the first one sec, uh, then sell the first one I try to run this function again I think we should get a green yes background like this so basically uh, that's the functions I have finished it but there is the issue uh, what I have found just now and if you go back here as you can see here I, if I remember correctly, I, when I do the merge, I select the line, select the line one, two, three, four. But but as you can see here, after I merge it, the order of the lines are wrong. So that's some issues. I haven't found the the root cause for it. I thought it may be a bug. Uh, for the uh, for uh, it's a bug maybe I don't know I didn't find any answers uh, on the line so let me show you what's the issue here so if I select three first two and then one if I try to run this make the same color function I should get a blue background for all of this so Let's try to see what's going on here. So I try to make same color. I don't know why I I got a, a green background. It's not a blue. So it's green background. I think it's from the number two. So if I go to the the log here, as you can see here, the number two can become the first element I don't know why because uh, actually I select this, this number three first and then number two and number one so the number three should be the first one so if you can see here in the, the here is the code so let me try to run it again so I try to run this color make same color so so in the in the script for the result i got since the color the number two is the first one so the first one is always a, is a, the reference okay so it's going to copy the color from the first one so the first one is number two number two is green so number two is green. So that's why they make all of these select shapes green. So I don't know what happened. I actually select this, the third one first. And let me try to third one first. And the, the first one. And then the, the number two. Okay. Let's try to run it again. So I don't know what, what will happen uh, this time. So let's try to run it. That's weird. So this time, as you can see, it looks like the first one is now became the first one. That's pretty weird. So if I go back to the code here, the log here, as you can see here, the actual order I, I select in uh, 
uh, select is three one two but in the code here I got one three two so I don't know what's going on okay so that's the only problem right now I I get so if this is a bug and uh, I have to wait uh, for Google to fix it so if it's not I may update my code so anyway I already uh, raised a ticket uh, raised an issue here a question here on the stack overflow I hope I can get some answers here from the com community so basically this is a function I used to get the selected shapes okay so the return result from the selection uh, is a list of selected, selected elements okay I don't know why uh, the order sometimes is uh, it's a mess I don't know what happened but sometimes so if I select only some of them maybe I select, select the three first and I select the number one here three one and I try to run it run the function I get this, the right order so three one so if I go to the the code here as you can see three one so sometimes it works sometimes it's not so I guess that's a bug and if you <laughs> if you know uh, maybe if you, if, you, if you know the issue you also can leave a comment so and I can fix it in my code so right now I don't know the issue the root cause for this issue and uh, I think uh, I don't know why so I will waiting for some answers from the community and then I will do update maybe later so in the video description okay so I think that's almost it for today and uh, by the way I have some videos about the okay about the web app template so I'm going to build a template for the web application with Vue.js and the materialize CSS okay so it's a template template to use so so maybe for the next video I don't know it depends what uh, what's going what happened in my head and maybe sometimes I get some new ideas I'm going to make a video for that so also I'd like to share uh, so if you are uh, using the Upwork to find the, some freelancers mm, I also uh, work here so if you have some requests uh, some tasks on related to Google Apps Script maybe you can send me an offer if I can help okay alright so that's it for today's video I will see you next time Bye-bye.